From epic battles to strategic showdowns, these games will immerse you into intense combat and thrilling gameplay. Get ready for a battle because today we're counting down the top 10 war games on Roblox. Before we dive into the countdown, here are four key factors that shaped our list. First, we'll look at enjoyment, how entertaining each game is. Next, we'll consider realism and immersion, how well the game puts you into its world. Third, we'll assess playability, including performance issues like bugs and lag. Finally, we'll evaluate how fun the game is with friends and multiplayer and just other players. We'll be rating them with a score of 10 for each single one through the video. With that in mind, let's jump right in. Now first up in 10th place, we have General Quarters. Now this game is on our list because it's actually a pretty good war game. Now this game, you do not fight against other players, which is a little weird. But in this game, you so you have to protect the ship in the middle while you're on the other ships on the outside. You have to destroy and kill boats that are coming in and planes. But in this game, you fight waves, you kill AIs. I wish there was two teams. One was a ship team where they kill the people and one team is in planes and boats trying to kill the boat in the middle but that is not what it is and that just makes it at the bottom of the list because playing against players is a lot better and AI is just so stiff but it's actually still a fun game now before we rate the entertainment, realism, playability and enjoyment with friends this rating doesn't always include shaping our list Sometimes this ratings is just for rating's sake, so we can rate it. Sometimes the ratings are lower than other things, but it can be fun for different reasons. But we're going to be rating this Entertainment 5 because it's first thing AIs, but the realism is pretty good. 7. The p playability, there was no bugs at all, so it's actually a 10, which is good. Enjoyment with friends, not that enjoyable with friends, so a 4. So in ninth place, we've got 94 Remastered. Now, I didn't play the other version before Remastered, but I'm guessing this version is a lot better, but still, it's in ninth place, and there's a reason for that. This game would be super, super fun. It's realistic, it's fun, it's like a broken down city, like you're fighting a broken down city. The one thing and one complaint I have about this, that's why it's so high, is because the map you walk slash run really, really slow, which is like really annoying because you need to get to the other side of the map to claim points and there's usually not many people playing. I mean, if they had like 100 people servers, which is a lot of people, maybe 50 people servers, but if they had that, I think it would be a lot better, but I think they should increase the map. It's really realistic, but sometimes when you get up close to the things, it just doesn't look realistic, so I'll Rate it a 8 for realism, entertainment a 6, playability is 5 because the gun system sometimes was broken, and enjoyment with friends it's a 5. But now we're on to number 8, which is Desert Wars, and this game is actually pretty fun, and I like how this map, it's actually big, but you can go in helicopters and you can go in trucks which helps it a lot better, that, that's why it makes it better than 94 Remastered because Desert Wars, you actually have trucks that have guns on it and it's actually pretty cool, I'm pretty sure it's like fighting against America against another foreign country, which is actually pretty cool and it's like not very realistic, it's just, I don't know, it's just not that realistic, the parts in the map are not that realistic, but it's still realistic, but not crazy realistic so I gave it a 6 for realism and entertainment pretty fun a 7 and uh, playability 9 because sometimes you got stuck in the car and enjoyment with friends is 7 because it's actually pretty good with friends and multiplayer but this game is actually pretty good you fight you capture points 
sometimes it's quite annoying because <laughs> you get the bad players on your team, but that's always going to happen. Now on to the seventh game, which is Entrenched. Now this game is a great game, and I recommend you play it because there's a lot of players on and it's super fun. And it's just sometimes not realistic, that's why it's kind of high up on the list because there's just floating orbs and floating things everywhere, but it's still pretty realistic. It's pretty fun with friends, just like every war game, you just fight the side friends, and so I'll give it a 7 for with friends. But playability, I found no bugs at all, so that's good, and realism 6, entertainment 7. I know you probably have played this game before, and you're probably thinking why is it so high up in the list, because there's a lot of players playing it, well, let me tell you, there is a lot better games. I think this game is popular because lots of phone players and lots of low quality computer players can play this game. So this game is really good and you should try it out, lots of players are playing it. Now in 6th place we have Bleeding Blades and now this is like a medieval time fighting which is actually quite cool, I like that kind of concept and I, I'm going to tell you straight up I read it an entertainment of 8. The game wasn't too realistic with its actual surroundings, but the way the mechanics works and everything, it's just cool how everyone goes in to fight for the town or fight for the castle. That was just really cool for me, so I rated it an 8 for realism because that part of it was realistic and I liked it. You should really try this game out, it's great. With friends, it's great. You like charge together into the building. You're always close together. It's not that big of a map. And playability wasn't any lag, wasn't anything bad. So I'm rating it a nine, but there was like kind of stuff, like little tiny stuff that don't really matter, like getting stuck for like two seconds. So fifth place is unit 1968. And you're probably wondering why I have such a low quality game in this, because I had heaps of fun, and this is probably my third favourite to just play, but not for being immersed in it. It's not very realistic, so I gave it a 4 for realism, but that's the reason I like it, it's just simple, you can one shot people with guns, it's really cool. It's like an arcade type of game, and I like those type of games, lately I tried the old golden eye and I actually kind of liked it and this kind of reminded me of it but like a kind of high quality version of it and it's just really fun so entertainment 10 now it's not the best with friends just like every war game so just like seven and playability there was only one bug in it which was quite annoying when you try and teleport to your teammates and it just wouldn't work because it said they're dead but they're alive which is weird but you could still spawn randomly wherever, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to rate it an 8 for playability. Okay, we are at 4th place. Now, 4th place is going to be Horizon Blue. And this game is a great game. I love the realism about it. It's super realistic. And obviously, there's always the characters of Roblox. In this video, I'm not going to be rating it on the characters. It's quite hard in Roblox to change the characters. But this game is super realistic, but the reason it is 4th place is because the playability. It's just so many particles, I don't know what they've done, but they've made it really laggy. Well, not really laggy, my computer got real loud for some reason. I've never really heard my computer do that for Roblox. So I was like really confused and I had to turn down my graphics. <laughs> because it just was really loud my computer, which is quite weird. I realize on the top side There's a settings bar that you can turn less particles on but That makes it less immersive and less realistic so that really ruined it for me So playability is five. It's like every war game you fight besides friends But this one sometimes you're in hallways and you go together and spawn together So I'll give it an eight for friends and Realism 9, Entertainment 8. I just didn't like that laggy bit, but this is my fourth favorite war game by far.
now we're into the top three and these top three games are absolutely great so make sure to stick through all of it airship assault at third place now this game i've known it for quite a while and i've always gone back to it i have included this game in one of my videos before because i thought it was a really good game even though it wasn't even a war video i included it because i thought it was a good game and it's just super fun it's like an airplane type of old airplane fighting game but you don't just fight in the air you can fight below but it's mainly airplanes mainly sky and it's really cool and there's game modes and maps that you can pick or vote for or sometimes randomly and some game modes slash maps have it blimps in the sky you have to destroy the other team's blimps and kill other players in their plane and other game modes is really cool where some team starts in the boat you have to defend your island and fight people in the air and destroy the boats that are coming over and you can be on land fighting with the war while you can pick planes which is actually super fun and I actually rated this a 10 with friends because you can actually do a lot with friends your friends can join you in the airplane while you're fighting your friends can be at the back of the airplane shooting other planes or shooting boats or shooting players below which I thought is a really fun thing with friends I played it with friends it's actually really good and I thought it was really entertaining so I gave it a 9 realism a 9 like I didn't rate it as in it's not crazy realistic but I just thought some parts were super realistic like sometimes your plane can get smoky and like fall from the sky and splash into water which was cool and just other parts so I gave it a 9 for that playability there wasn't really bugs so I'll give it a 9 and this game you should really play it's super super good and make sure to get a friend online so you can play together. Just one annoying thing is that any player can join your plane. So you, I kind of sometimes just, well. Yeah, well, I did that when I got the wrong player. <laughs> but now we're on to the second game, which is Warfront. Now this game is a great game. I'm pretty sure it's only first person, I couldn't really get to third person, but I just thought it was really entertaining and fun, and it felt like you were actually in a war field, and I've watched war movies before and it felt like it, which was really good for, for realism and then being immersed into it, so I'll give it a 9 for realism because I thought it was cool, entertainment 10 because you got to pick tanks as well and fight could sneak behind players go through fences and stuff and fields and fight each other which was super cool as well and you're like fighting a farm sometimes I thought this was a great game and super entertaining this definitely deserves second place it's just I don't know when I play it I just feel like I am there and I just feel fun I feel like they put a lot of time into it which is a great thing and I love first person games and I love when you can't go to third person it just makes it better makes you feel actually not like you're in a Roblox character which is cool that's why it's in second place you should really play this super fun now in first place this is my favorite game out of every game and you should play this it is Centaur R. I, I have no idea how to pronounce this name, to be honest. But this is just a great game. I loved it. At first, I kind of played it. I didn't even realize I was playing in the worst graphics. And I still really liked it. It's like a smoky town with mask on. You're fighting in the smoke. That was just so cool. And it's just super realistic. Like, when a bomb hits right next to you, you sometimes go deaf. Sometimes it rings for a bit and it goes dark sometimes, which is just super cool. And bullets, if they get shot next to your ear or next to your character, sometimes you get death or buzzing sound, which I thought was super realistic. Sometimes the houses on the side would catch on fire.
I never even thought that someone would even think about that to make houses or objects around actually burn. But that's actually really smart and it's just a super fun game. It's like you're actually in war and there's heaps of people with you and you just go into combat with all bombs going next to you and you're fighting besides players and you're just shooting players from the other side trying to sneak around. It's just super cool. So the entertainment for this one is a definite 10 and realism is a 10 and playability is 10. No bugs. Realism is so good and enjoyment with friends is a nine because sometimes you're usually compacted into a small area you have to organize and work out how to get around houses and you have to work together with other players to go around houses and fight other players to get around and to somehow claim lands and fronts and we played for ages and we couldn't even capture the first one but it was just super super fun I didn't even care and this definitely deserves first place and you should try it it is super super fun but this is the end of the list and it was super super fun recording this video i loved editing this video and i loved filming this video and i hope you guys thought my list was good and i hope you guys enjoyed my video if you like these games make sure to comment down below that you did and make sure to comment your own list out of these games I would love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys very, very soon.